the first and foremost piece of advice and reminder that we should be commencing with at all times is the consciousness of Allah. Develop a relationship with your maker. That is what will help you in this world and the next. My brothers and sisters, when we came onto the earth, one thing was certain that we tend to forget. We're going to leave this place. When we came into this world, we came in order to leave it at some point. That is the only thing that is certain. When? We don't know. Unfortunately, while Allah gives us more days to live, we tend to forget the fact that we are going to go back to Him. When a baby is born, if that baby were to die in the early stages of life, it would be a great loss for the parents and for humanity at large. But that particular baby is gone back to the best possible place it could be because it didn't even start its life on earth. It was not witness to all the distractions on this earth. And as children grow up, the same applies to them. Once they clock puberty, they become responsible. At that juncture, the angels begin to write all the good and the bad that is done. And everything that that child, now that it be, has become an adult, will do to develop the relationship with Allah is also written. That will be a bonus. You and I grew up. Today we are seated here. May Allah grant us contentment. We're all searching for happiness, yet when we were babies, we were quite happy and content with a little feed and a little burp and so on. We started smiling at small things. For as long as we were not wet, we were not soiled, it wasn't too hot, and we were not made to be scared, we were okay. For as long as we were fed, we were fine. Small things made us happy. As time passed, we were sad with small things. Now we want bigger things. We need more complicated stuff. The toys that made us happy when we were babies no longer made us happy as we grew older, four years, five years. You can't give me the same toy I had when I was two years. Later on, we were dissatisfied until we had the latest of the time in our hands. Today, the little children are not happy until you give them the latest technology, the phones and the iPads. And sometimes parents give them these things without actually considering how dangerous it is to give the child this piece of technology if it were unrestricted. But my brothers and sisters, the more Allah gives us life and the longer we live, why is it that we become so discontented? We're not happy anymore. Nothing makes us happy. We want more and more. You have a job whereby you're getting a salary, you can live, you have clothing, you have food, you have a decent place to live. You have a bedding, you have a place you can bath and shower perhaps, you have a toilet, you can relieve yourself, but you're not happy. What do you want? I need more. I want a bigger salary. I want a promotion, I want a better home, I want a better car. I want the next phone, but you only had the phone just about a year ago. We're not happy. Do you know what? We need to develop contentment. It won't come on its own. Your happiness is a switch that you need to turn on. You become conscious of the gifts of Allah upon you. The more you concentrate on the fact that you are only here temporary, the greater the chances of you being happy.